my sister dyed my hair bright red out of like a box <laughs> hair dye when I was 14 or 15. It was down to here, so kind of when your hair is that long, like anything goes. It probably didn't suit me that that great. That was when I was doing like dance competitions, and so there's all these photos of me like doing big like leaps and stuff with <laughs> like bright red hair and like rhinestone bras and like a big <laughs> smile. One time I was on a side of an 18 wheeler for a Showstoppers Nationals dance competition. Oh, I'm really proud of that moment. Yeah, bright red hair. I don't have a single photo of it. Rainy, my older sister, made some of my solo costumes. She would sew them by hand. I did dance to a song called Bones, I think it was Charlotte Martin Bones. <laughs> and um, Rainy hand sewed this like beautiful two piece costume. Yeah, almost nothing. I've embarrassed myself in the, in the biggest way I can possibly do it so from a very young age, so. We're here to talk about Drive Away Dolls. I read the script and I just loved it. They said audition for whichever part you want. I was in the middle of shooting another movie and I was just home for a few days and <laughs> this one had less dialogue. So I thought like I could prepare it better. So I started with that one and Ethan Cohen sent me an email saying he was bummed that I'd auditioned for that one because he'd imagined me as Jamie. And I was like, I'll audition for Jamie. <laughs> Don't trust my instincts, trust you, I'll do it. And so I'd put myself on tape for the other one. I got to be a wild child. It went by so fast. Like usually when a movie ends, you're kind of exhausted and like ready to, to go home. I was genuinely sad for it to be over because it was one of those moments where you knew that like you were gonna remember the experience forever. I like Halloween, but I never end up really dressing up for Halloween. As a kid, I always just put on boys clothes and one as a boy. My cousin Jacob and I were the same age and we went to the same school and he lived down the street. And so I would walk to his house and borrow his clothes and just be like, I'm a boy. I would put on like a cap backwards, kind of like Mary-Kate and Ashley style. And I would just be a boy time and time again. My very first movie I did with Ryan Gosling, I was very starstruck. I remember him singing Happy Birthday to me at a Benihana for my, I think it was my 20th birthday, uh -huh. and I'll never forget it. He was just there, it wasn't, it wasn't about me, it was just a cast dinner, it happened to be my birthday. It was great, but my favorite birthday is any birthday with Jack. You were the happiest bride I ever saw in my life. It was the best day of my life. My first kiss? First my first kiss, kiss was life. with Jack, it was this year, the last year. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, we could no, no, no. My first kiss was in, seventh grade on Halloween. Oh, and this time I was not a boy. I was a Fanta girl. You know that like Fanta, Fanta, don't you want it? Like those girls that did the commercials for Fanta. <laughs> I was like a really uninspired Fanta girl. I wore a yellow shirt and said I was a Fanta girl. And, and some of my friends wore different colors. Like there was a purple Fanta and an orange Fanta. I was lazy. I was in seventh grade, so I was like too cool for Halloween. You know, like it was yeah. when you like hang out with your friends, you don't trick or treat, but like the like mom of the house like puts like a bowl of candy in the basement and you're like, yeah, it's Halloween, whatever, <laughs> like was the kind of the vibe. We went on a walk around the neighborhood, again, like not really trick or treating because we were way too cool for that. And my then boyfriend was a guy named Zach Mag. I did a series of Zachs after that. Like I really liked the name Zach for some reason. It was three Zachs in a row. He kissed me behind a car. He was like, sorry, I'm a little rusty. And it was my first kiss and I was like, you're rusty, like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I guess that I was, it meant it was bad or like, I don't know. I was really rusty because I'd never kissed anyone ever in my life. We dated for a minute and we used to develop photos together in the dark room and we would like kiss in the dark room. And then the new, next Zachs came along. <laughs> yes, Zach Evans and Zach Murdoch. But Zach Murdoch and I didn't date at all. I just had a crush on him and um, it didn't pan out. I had a lot of crushes growing up that were very un, um, unreciprocated. I mostly experienced unrequited love.